play for one of the biggest prize pools, <laughs> like at two hundred fifty thousand dollars in a couple weeks' time. You better make sure you can compete with those. They two trying teams. to, they trying to be set, man. These guys, they ain't, they, this, this whole year is all about Gears of War. Okay, <laughs> Gears of War the whole year, it's going in my and Optic account. Game knows it. <laughs> and it, guys, we're gonna be taking a look at this matchup: Vex Gaming versus Optic Game. It's your boy Gap Blazing Benson coming at you guys live here. Benson, we're on board here with explosives and take us off. I'm so, so excited to watch Explosives this evening. He has really been an explosive player in my mind when I'm watching Gears of War. I love it. He plays just so well. It just it seems kind of fluid. Where other players are a little janky, he just makes everything look so unbelievably easy. And he's always the one really uh, making some flashy, flashy plays for us. Hopefully we see more of that this evening. But heading over to Summons, that B-Hill, of course, still neutral. Summons is doing a fantastic job of just staying alive. Of course, Vex putting down a lot of crossfire for now. Of course, it is a slap bang even game. No one managed to control that B-Hill just yet. So Abolix was down there. He was causing a lot of commotion and uh, this kill is not going to be picked up summons and will save lava, but uh, Bollox was in a position to put down a lot of crossfire. So initially what we usually see, especially when we see the two powerhouses of Optic and Enemy play, uh, you come across summons and explosives here on this initial matchup, <laughs> fighting for control of position down there in front of that B-Hill. So at the beginning of this round, Summons got control, but he was not contested. But at the same time, he was still not in position to cap that B-Hill. It came down to what played out in the middle of the map. And we saw that execution style gameplay that we love seeing in that installation. Are you sure very smart plays will come from up the gaming? They actually overextended over towards A, put pressure on Vex immediately, and that caused a couple players to track back and make sure they were securing their home hill. Opened up B, now up to gaming, find themselves with a two to one hill advantage. B and C under that control. It looks like they're going to put the pressure on A. Perhaps he's going to have to go big here. Doesn't really have much time to, to waste. Oh, he jumps in the hill. No. He actually picks up one. That's going to be Kenny. Can he fight two? The support comes in. It doesn't matter. Doesn't even need to clean up the kill. Nicely done there from Perps. Perps, he got a prayer right there. It looked like he was going to come, come out on top. But he managed to get, get the kill, uh, stop his team from getting a three cap. And we're going to see Vex game and push control and take care of Optics Home Hill. Is this a little bit of a, too much of aggressive push by Abolix? And it's not going to be. They're actually going to get that kill. Optic game will regain control over their Home Hill. So we got to ask ourselves now. What Vex Gaming wants to do, well, they want and to it's kill gonna be everyone. Percy picking up two kills there on Summons and Lava. Nicely done. A couple of plays from up to Gaming down. Now, what do Vex do? Do they go for a potential pushover to C? No, they have to make sure they cap B first. Percy will pick up his teammate. It's explosive. Of course it is. Being the thorn in Vex Gaming's side, manages to stop the B cap. And of course now, it, with such low respawns, all of up to Gaming going to be up. You see Explosive immediately dashing over towards that A hill, recognizing if he can you know, maybe even just neutralize this, stop Vex Gaming points, it's going to just make that lead even bigger for Optic Gaming. As it stands, it's a 184 to 120 game. Optic Gaming in full control. They don't even need to cap B at this point. They can just lock down C. They know, and they just picked up two kills as well. Optic Gaming have all attention focused on their home hill and shock. Picking up a kill on Kitty before he went down, but Mental, the anchor for his team on foundation, is going to pick up a second kill as well, and he's going to secure the one kill that his team needs to come out and win round number one. You see him push out just in case, but it doesn't matter. As you said, guy, Optic Gaming will find themselves 1-0 in the lead. And that was a, a pretty dominating performance from, from start to finish there. There was a moment, though, where it looked like Vex could potentially spring into action. It seemed to me, though, as if they maybe kind of hesitated a little bit. They didn't know whether to push up the game and go for a trip cap or, or just try and hold that two to one advantage. Yeah. And that's something that we talked about earlier on. When you're playing one of the best teams in the world, you have to take every single advantage I you can. I love it. I love it. I love it. So the weapon selection process, we've seen a lot of teams who who, who are uh, been at the top and at the event, they always block off that foundation mm -hmm. and uh, fountain spawn. They always exit out. They don't want no incense, no snipers there. But Vex said, we want a sniper here. We want to get down and dirty. We don't care who picks it up on your team. We got faith in our sniper, and that's going to be frag out picking up that weapon. So it's going to be frag out versus mental in terms of the sniping battle that you can expect. A couple of smokes already thrown. Summons will fall. Look at Mental's perspective. It's a swing and a miss, but he recognizes he has to give a, a little bit of credit here to Vex. Doesn't want to get too overconfident. In actual fact, it looks like he is going to back out, recognizing that a Vex push could come in. Mental yet to actually hit a shot with this sniper rifle. There's three swings, three misses. Not looking good for up to gaming sniper right now. I mean, like you got to hit something. At least hit him, right? Like, at least body him. And Lava's going to hop over and get that man on kick. Picking up two kills. Going to get help from his teammate. Frag out, trying to make something happen. Mental comes down and clean it up. And, you know, 
Mental was just a little rusty to start off because it's like y'all really gave me sniper. Nobody ever gives me sniper. <laughs> you guys decided that today was gonna be the day that you gave me sniper rifle. You you give Mental a round or two with this uh, weapon on the map. He's gonna start to to go off. Well, that's the stand. Fuxy Gaming have A and B under their control, and again, a uh, lead starting to generate. Nothing uh, crazy right now, just over 10 points, but it's pressure, and, and that's what Vex are going to have to handle. <laughs> Speedy instantly falls there. Explosive now. He's going to apply more pressure, just trying to hunt down the players of Vex. Fantastic movement coming in from him, but he will be down. And that B-Hill, you see, looks as if it has been made neutral, and Vex should be able to get control of that. Now the question, you have C and B. You have a couple of players from Optic Gaming down. Do you apply the pressure on A? It, it, it seems... Oh, it, that was a good turn. Oh, oh he's going to fall down. I want to say he took some damage from his teammate, but his teammate was able to secure that kill. But there we go. We've seen the pop up on the kill feed right there. And Speedy will secure that kill. Mental then already got ammo for a sniper rifle. And he's going to be watching his B-Hill. It won't be in control of Optic Gaming, but... Mental is in a position waiting for his teammates to, to 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 come around and actually come take take control and, of that hill. And, and the problem he has is he didn't actually connect with that shot on Fragout. Fragout's tracked all the way back and he's picked up his sniper rifle now. So you may have a, a little bit of a snipe off coming on uh, towards this B hill. Mental could regret missing that early shot. And in actual fact, it looks like he's actually going to push over towards Fragout. So he's showing his confidence with the sniper rifle. Both players missing, not going to connect just yet. So. Battle of the uh, the wet noodles right now. <laughs> Mental's gonna uh, connect a little bit with that body ooh, shot, but ooh. Frag out gonna be shutting down two kills there. And him and his team will be pushing over for control over this B hill. But here comes Optic. They're gonna be pushing in for some static. Ooh. Summons oh. down. Oh. Lava frag goes out. down. Frag oh out with God. the four piece there. You beast. You absolute beast, but unfortunately they are losing C. As it stands right now, Vex could win this on a two to one hill advantage. In actual fact, it, it looks as if it should go their, their way. They need just shy of 20 points. Meanwhile, Frag out getting a little uh, swaggish with the sniper rifle, trying to add some style points onto this second possible round. We'll, we'll have to wait and see, because Optic are pushing over towards B. They cannot lose C. Lava will shut down Frag out. Is there anyone in a position to get towards C? It doesn't look like it. And a nice response there coming from Vex, but Frag Out had to go huge right Ooh. there for Vex to win that round. Frag Out really did go huge, man. You know, he just went completely off. He picked up those first two kills, came in, picked up another two kills, was able to control that B Hill and put his team uh, up to take, take control of that round. And we don't see this too often. Optic Gaming placing a weapon early on in the oh. map. Oh, please. Oh, please make this interesting. Please do it. They won't. They're too scared. And I just got... Oh, did, no. oh come on. Don't Boo. do that. Don't do that. Boo this man. Come on. Yeah, Boo this man. Boom. Drop the boom. Damn. We'll take names. We'll take it. We'll take something. <laughs> we'll take names. Something is better than nothing. Right? You, know what, you know what also I would take? Mm -hmm. Chicago Cubs being up 1-0 in the World Series. What's up? All right. Let's go. <laughs> I'm really? the gaming. <laughs> really? I feel like you have like a text update going. So someone is texting you updates or something. I don't know what you're talking about. It's just my <laughs> intuition. Okay. Intuition. Uh, speaking of intuition, let's see uh, how the snipe off is going to happen. Can I get a hashtag in the chat? Oh, please. Fra Frag out is he's quickly becoming one of my favorite players. I'm not even going to lie. Already managed to find one pick with a sniper rifle this round. Looking for more. Of course, that B-Hill still neutral for now. Throws out the smoke. It, I think it's, is it summoned over there? No, nah, it's it, mental. It's mental, okay. All mental, right. both snipers, 1v1. Shooting, taking shots through the smoke. Oh. Mental connects with the body shot. He's going to put that snipe up. Shotty out, but Frag out is waiting for him. He says, you want some of this? It, Ooh. He's so oh, alive. Come he get it. it. And he's going to be able to get that knee shield. I think he will fall. Look at how weak he is. There's surely no way he escapes this. He still has the meat shot up, though, and someone's just falling as well. The assist comes in. Fantastic stuff there from Shock and Vex. Looking very, very good at the beginning of this round. Uh, Frag out, though, still firing out a couple of shots and not connecting. Lava's going to try and run away, but the pistol being used by Frag out. And bear in mind, Vex, as it stands, do have A and B hill advantage. And Frag out, more than happy to chase, wants to try and pursue those kills and really put up the game under pressure. And that's something so interesting to me. When when you're the best team in the game, it's something you almost don't expect. You don't expect teams to kind of disrespect you that way and say, hey, yeah. I'm going to chase you. I'm going to hunt you down. So you want to tell you why they disrespected them? Because they're online warriors. And, and, that, and I say oh, that and I, and, no, I say that in the best way possible. Okay. Because you know why? Because Optic Gaming was online warriors as well. When they were uh, under that glory name back in the day, before they, before Gears of War UE and they started traveling and breaking out, they were the, the definition of online warriors, the GB kids who, <laughs> who were... 
just untouchable on the GB ladder. And I was watching explosive stream uh, as they were watching Vex game and play E United. And he said, he said, man, these guys are straight warriors. And I mean in the most respectful way possible because we were warriors too. And these two guys just play with so much confidence. And so this is one thing I always try to preach, friends. And when you guys play with confidence out there, don't fear nobody. It don't matter what, what, what tag they got in front of their name, in front of yep. it or behind it. You just go out there and play with confidence. Take your fights. Don't play scared. You can come out on top. Absolutely. And as the Tanzvex do have to lead this round, however, Optic Gaming will finally get their hands on that B hill. So B and C in Optic Gaming's control. Frag out going to be left in pretty much no man's land. Wants to try and stop the domination, which could come in. I don't think he's going to be able to do so. Uh, luckily for him, Shock will finally touch the A hill. There's one more player from Vex trying to get oh, over there. He no. will. That's a bollocks. He actually picked up a kill as well. Nicely done. Has he bought his team enough time? Mental with two. Now it's going to be down to speedy. Can he try and contest? I don't think he's going to be able to get it. He does get there just in the nick of time. But Explosive shuts him down. And unfortunately, I think Vex have just run out of numbers. Finally, up to gaming, get that domination. Mental, that was a good that was a good play by him. He actually secured that, uh, making sure he did not die. He picked up three kills there on the home hill and secured that for his team there in round number three. So the weapon selection is going to go back to Vex Gaming. They do put they, they had a ballsy move last time. Do they it. put snipes down. What they want to do now? Oh, they're harboring the block, and it looks like they're going to block out statue. Okay. Okay. Nothing too crazy. Not, there. Yeah, yeah, not, not nothing too crazy. They're just going to. Uh, they probably just like how that side of the map is playing out, mm -hmm. and they would just want to make sure that that side of the map is not going to be in jeopardy when they decide to, you know, because they, they're, they're confident. They know that they're going to win some more rounds, so they right. don't want Optic doing anything too crazy till round number six. Of course, uh, once again, you expect that snipe off battle between Mental and Frag out. I believe it's actually Mental who's missed a couple of shots. Speedy is just like straight disrespecting. He's like, I know you have the sniper rifle. I'm just better at moving. And he's actually picked up a kill as well. He's somehow still alive. You have to hit him. That's I his confidence because he... There we there go. We right, go. Thank you. Thank Mental. you, Mel. Mel so, uh, so much for the confidence. I was going to say, <laughs> that's his confidence that you know that your teammate has your back. And in that case, his teammate did not have his back. And he doesn't have his own back at all. Because Mental is picking up those two kills, opening the B-Hill for Optic Gaming to just come in and get control of it. Nicely played. Mental now uh, seems to be warming up a little bit with the sniper rifle. As I say, that misses a couple more shots. But the Optic have control of B, and, and, and that's the crucial thing. Uh, and more importantly, you know, Vex have to respect the fact that Mental does have that sniper rifle in his hands. The first headshot is always the hardest headshot to get, right? And the easiest shots are always the hardest shots to make, you know? <laughs> so nice. Mental has broken ice. He's got it warmed up. And you, any Gears of War game, Mental with scope you know, we just watch, right? It's a crime not to. We have to watch because he just, he, go, he goes off at any time and we, we love seeing it. And we don't see too much sniper action nowadays in Escalation because, you know, teams don't wanna, don't wanna deal with the good snipers in this game. So, on board with Mentals, he's patrolling this, this B Hill area, recognizing that Optic can build themselves over a 30 point lead. He's more than happy to backtrack. And this is such a powerful position for a sniper rifle player on this map. You can see B, you can see A, you basically have the whole map under your control. The problem is now though, will Vex push him? Speedy and Pepsi both picking up a couple of kills. B Hill will be taken by Vex surely. Unless uh, something crazy happens. You expect to see them jump on it. It looks like explosive. He's gonna try and put a stop to that push. Picks up one, that's a box! Turns around, shuts down Speedy. And Vex had a huge opportunity there of taking that B hill. They didn't take it. And Explosives is going to punish him for it. You can't let Explosives come well, in there and just head. destroy your whole setup. <laughs> and Frag Out shut him down. But he has Mental in front of him. And Mental, he's ready for him. Both these guys are going to get their uh, little cover advantages. And they're going to actually push in. They want to fight. Snipers are going to go away here. And they're going to come in here. And they want to fight for this B hill. Can Frag Out take out this... Can he pick up this kill here? Has he's got to get help from Shock, and he, he will get that kill. So now they just got to push out Lava here and get control over this B-Hill. But Lava is going to get it down there on Speedy. Yep, and you see Speedy definitely crawling towards Frag. He's like, please, help, help me. And Lava's going to just immediately jump in, see if he can try and put a stop to that. But it doesn't look like he's going to be able to do so. Look at the score, though, Blaze. It's 200 points to Optic Gaming. Now you need to see that A-Hill neutralized. If you're a Vex Gaming fan, they have around about five seconds left. Speedy definitely trying to get over that. I oh, don't think he's going to be able to do so. Optic Gaming will survive, and they'll take the third round for them, 3-1. And I feel like Vex, they, they were almost just a little too slow there to react. It was almost as if they, they recognized so many gunfights were going on towards B, they kind of didn't look at the score, and then they were like, oh, crap, yeah. Optic can just hold one hill. We need to push. Yeah, they just uh, they probably just picked up on awareness. They just was not that aware soon enough there and just could not make anything happen towards later into that round. But I'm pretty sure these guys will learn from their mistakes, and they're going to put incense here on top of the B-Hill.
I mean, we're stacking that side of the map, that's for sure. Sniper rifle goes down. Now you got the incense over there as well. Definitely more incentive is something to play for over there. The, the, the earlier rounds of this is starting off kind of slow. Both teams are capping their home heals, no problem. Uh, you know, the initial fight here for nades isn't that strong. Isn't that, uh, you know, much of a priority? Now that Incense mm -hmm. on the map, and we're going to see summons get this kill on Speedy, and Optic's going to play very, very fast and try to push out the Sniper, and they not even going to respect him. No, bear in mind, uh, Vex actually changed the play with the Sniper Rifle. It's no longer going to be Frag. It's actually Shock who actually went for that this round. So Vex kind of switching stuff up a little bit there. We'll see how that's going to pay out. Metal has managed to... Uh, connect with a shot on Fragout. He's expecting the push to come through. Fragout going to give no respect to Mental whatsoever. Uh, Mental wisely backs away. And he's going to get sniped down across map. Fragout's going to pick up that kill, and Mental's going to have help. The question is, will it hit? Will the kill get picked up? And yes, it does. And it's going to be a few Optic Gaming members actually trying to fight for that B hill, but they need to defend their home hill first, and they will do that. And that's not, actually not going to be their hill. That's going to be Vex's home hill that they just fought for. Explosive still on your screen. B hill is going in favor of Optic Gaming, and this is where it gets scary for Vex. They need to try and contest something, and they're not going to get there in time. Optic Gaming doing such a good job of controlling this map, guy. That's a 4-1 advantage now. That round only lasted a minute, six seconds. I feel like Optic, they're, they're getting into the swing of things now, and you're seeing exactly why they're the number one team in the world. So, in the earlier rounds, it's starting off like execution with the respawn timers getting higher. We see these res we see all these rounds getting shorter mm -hmm. as well. So, Optic Gaming, what we see is a big fight for this B-Hill, and instead of incense, they're actually going to change it up. Nope, actually, they're going to change those nades. Question is, what do they want to put? They need to do something to force Optic Gaming away from that B hill. And oh, they might Change take the sniper. off snipers. I mean, you have five seconds left. Are they gonna keep it? Maybe. Is that an bar? Yes. So they're gonna put an M bar there as well. So now you're gonna have two long range weapons on the map. Okay. Well, I feel like you, you didn't force Optic away from the B hill. If anything, you kind of maybe enticed a couple more players over there. Of course, M bar is gonna be slap bang on that hill as it stands up to gaming four one up in the North American 2K final. This is map one. This will be a best of three. And we'll see early on, it's gonna be Mental and Frag Out. So Frag Out takes the Sniper Rifle this round for Vex. You see things didn't really work out last round, so Frag Out's like, yo, I, I got Sniper Rifle. Trust me, I got you. But Speedy, he was the last one in to come uh, come down from bottom middle. He picked up a kill on Summons, and we still got that Frag Out and Mental matchup down here. The B Hill is not capped. This is a, a, a classic execution round. And now we're gonna have Lava's gonna be down from Optic, and he's gonna get cleaned up. Mental needs to get pushed out of here. Can he connect with that body shot? And he's gonna come up short. So as he's capping his heel, unless Mental can hit a headshot, and that's good that he didn't stay there because Mental pulled out his pistol. He was like, hey, I'm just going to get this down. I was going to say, he needs to know that his teammates is playing for the domination. Oh! <laughs> Mental saved the round for his team. Wow. Frag out. Just tried moving around, being sneaky at B. Mental, yeah, he didn't respect he's him. None of that whatsoever. He's like, you want to straight back and forth? You want to bounce? Don't even worry about it. I got the sniper rifle. So said, Throw some respect on my name. Exactly. Mental now actually two versus one with his teammate here. She'll be able to shut down one. Has the support as well of another teammate there. So he's actually going to be able to revive his teammate. Of course, B Hill still neutral as it sounds. And it is Vex who have the lead here. And they've actually jumped on B trying to pinch in off the gaming. And Mental realistically should fall anytime soon, but doesn't. And you can see just how quickly up the gaming react to those situations. As soon as it looks like they're at a disadvantage, they all work together as a team. And they're just so, so efficient at trading. Finally, Frag Out and Shock Devil do pick up a couple of kills and they'll secure that B hill. Shock holding down a one heal that his team had left to not go down to a five one deficit. And he's going to be pushing up to Optic's home hill. This could be a and trip. He wanted some static over here, but he's going to get this hill for free. The domination is actually coming in. The question is can he win his 1v1? Oh, this is huge. It will be neutral for now. And uh, whoever that is from up to gaming did a good job. Uh, I believe it was Explosive and Crew just managed to secure that A hill, so it keeps up to gaming in it. But Vex, as we said, you have the lead. A's actually still neutral. Up to gaming not getting any points momentarily. As it looks as if they're actually going to push up it straight towards C. They need to be careful that someone doesn't come in on the flank here. They that haven't seen nobody disastrous. cap it yet either. Do they realize they don't have it? Well, they're going to realize now because the domination could be coming in. Unfortunately, no, the play from Vex does fall, and Abolix is going to have to clean up this kill. This is a big fight right here. If he can get this one, the three cap can possibly come in, but not happening. Kenny winning that 1v1 against Abolix. Fragout's going to have snipe. So they do have the advantage when it comes down to points. They need to make sure they keep control over B, but they at least want a home hill, but Explosive said, nah, player, that ain't working today. That's going to be A backing up Tick's control, but 
As we said, Vex have done well. They've built themselves a big lead. Looks like BNC should be under their control as well. If they can just keep this two hill advantage, they will win this round. However, the problem is, as soon as you slow down your, your gameplay, if you stop playing for that and off the game and slay you out, you know they're going to smell blood and they're going to hop on that trip cap immediately. Yeah, Vex has good space and he just, if anything, make sure they stay alive. Now they're playing for the three cap, so they have players all around the map fighting for different heals. As long as at least one of these guys can win a 1v1 on one of these heals, then they can come out with one of this round one, Speedy. There's a oh, 1v2 God. for Speedy. He's like, oh, I don't even worry about it. I can't get you. the third? He's looking for it. He's thinking about it. Will he get it? It should be enough. Woo! Vex, they're going to win this round. Fantastic stuff coming in from Speedy towards the end. So Vex staying alive, showing a little bit of, uh, of life yet. Four rounds to two in favor of Optic Gaming. So, uh, the first half of this going in favor of Optic, but, you know, they're not getting too much of a defining lead. They still need to win three more rounds here. This is going to be halftime. We saw Vex come out strong. They play very, very well in commotion, but so does Optic Gaming. Uh, these teams play very much alike, actually. 19 kills coming there for Frag Out. Having a fantastic first half. I feel like this first round here of the second half is going to be huge for Vex. You want to come out and really assert your dominance. Do not allow Optic Gaming uh, a three round lead. And then, of course, they're just going to be two rounds away from winning map number one. We're going to kick things off on board with summons from Optic Gaming. As, of course, he heads now to the E Hill. You see, at halftime, the hills are going to switch. And it looks like Optic are immediately going to get control. That was uncontested almost. So what happened was is Vex took control over that elevation, over that lookout spot. They won initial fight up there in summons. He was just out of play. And we see Vex Gaming picking up another kill here. They need to get their teamwork together here to make sure they can secure this double kill. And Percy is going to have to go in here. He's going to take the wide angle, taking a lot of shots. He's going to drop back, and he's going to switch out with his teammate. And his teammate goes down there to Kenny. He needs to get out of there. They do have control over the E heal, and they're getting points, but that's not for long. Frag out trying to push over. Of course, he wants to apply the pressure on up to Kaning's home hill, but that's just not going to happen. Mental more than happy to say, just run at me if you want. You're just going to give me a free kill. Now you see uh, Optic Gaming spring into action thanks to Explosive. He looks as if that's going to go under that control. He's done well. He's actually going to get over towards the D hill. Now if he wins this 1v1, Vex could be in some Ooh. real trouble. He does. And now can they at least neutralize the hill? They will. Explosive is capping it. Has the support of a teammate as well. E is neutral. In fly, someone from Vex. Explosive just going to have to turn around, hunting through the smoke. It's going to be Frag Out. Frag Out takes a chunk out of him. Explosive somehow still alive. Frag Out goes down. D should go under up the game's control, but meanwhile, E is still neutral right now. Over there, I think it's Perpsy, but Perpsy has finally died there to summon. Summons has came back and has wow. got a revenge. And I think Gaming gets the domination here around number seven. Nicely played. Um, and you talk about how difficult it is to, to dominate a team with just a 10 second respawn. Optic showing you exactly how. But unfortunately, Vex just not able to stay alive that round. Now down three rounds. Not looking good. Do we see sniper rifles again coming from Vex? I think that they like, yes, they, they do. Like they, it. they place it. They like how that matched up. And uh, they're not scared of Mental and the sniper rifle. They have full confidence in Frag Out uh, or Shook, depending on whoever wants to get that. And you see Frag Out with 19 kills, and he was picking up the sniper the majority of the second half. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, they're down 4 to 2. But you also you kept Mental busy. You know, you kept Mental busy that entire time during the first half. And that's almost a good thing, especially, you know, he started off slow. You don't have, you got Mental with a snipe, you know, instead of a shotgun now. Well, we'll see how this one pans out for Vex. As we take a look at Speedy, they've gone for a familiar strategy as they did in the last round, just try to control this catwalk area. But unfortunately for them, they're going to lose those gunfights, and it looks as if they should actually lose the E Hill as well. Optic Gaming's breakout just so, so strong on this side of the map and the pressure being applied over towards D Mental. Should be able to win this one. He's gonna get tagged up once. Looks like the challenge is gonna come in. He has teammates in support. And he will manage to clean out, frag out, more kills come in, and Optic Gaming immediately get map control and push over towards that. And so Mental here, uh, <laughs> you can almost argue that, you know, him having a shotgun or having a sniper at which one is more deadly. And, you know, <laughs> they're both equally as deadly. And I think it's playing very, very quick. They're, they're in their flow now. They're in their flow. They're moving fast across the map. You know, we got to see Vex Gaming get a turnaround here. Ooh, Mental. I'm going to connect with that one. There's Explosive. You see that kill feed? It's all up to Gaming right now, Blaze. As player from Vex. I believe it's going to be Speedy. He's made the decision that he needs to win this 1v1. He cannot afford to oh, lose it. It's what? mental. I mean, he's just embarrassed Speedy at that point. Like, I feel bad for him. Really? Speedy? Really? You know, you just can't. You can't, you can't lose those. Your team, your team needed you. 
All right, after this, they're going to be watching the video, and they're going to be like, really, Speedy? Really, though? <laughs> <laughs> you know, Speedy's real quiet. He's like, yo, there's, there's one guy. He's going to be like, yo, guys, let's just uh, skip between, you know, <laughs> one, 125, 28. <laughs> <laughs> nothing happened. Don't worry about it, boys. Trust me. Nothing, nothing happened. Of the gaming still with d &E under that control. The push is going to come in again. Metzl's going to turn around. Can he win a 1v2? He already won the 1v1 last round. He will clean up one, but it will be he traded got, he out. He got help that time. He got help that time. <laughs> yes, he, he's like, I got you this time. Yeah, see, I learned from my mistakes out <laughs> here. So, next game, it will get, get control of DNF, but they're going to have to put some pressure on Optics Home Hill. They need to at least get a decap a little bit uh, because they, they can't edge their way back into this one. And I think my, my math is going to be right. If they can Are you hold sure two, you want to say this? Yeah, if they can hold two heels, but then you I got, hold it two heels now, so it don't matter. You pulled out your abacus? Yeah, yeah, here, try, try I thought, to do the I a little bit extra harder on that. <laughs> 182 to 146, up to gaming. With D under the control, E neutral. Looks as if uh, that's going to go back under the control of Vex, but Vex need to hop on D. Can't waste any time. Meanwhile, up to gaming have overextended. They've gone to F. And that's in fact, up to gaming can get a trip cap here of their own. Yeah, I think, you know, they, uh, they played those earlier rounds there. They played them with a lot of respect. But now it seems like they're having a little bit more fun in their play style, which mm -hmm. is still deadly because, you know, it's, it's a happy it's a happy out there gaming squad. When you're happy, you just naturally you're going to play, play better. better. Yep. So uh, so now that they have this lead, they they're coming off the gas a little bit, but they're still dominating. Vets. How do you how do you tilt a team like up to gaming? What do you do? <laughs> Get them all girlfriends. <laughs> well, really honest uh, answer. Yeah, that's, 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 that's true. Get them Just all girlfriends. Hop, hop, hey. on, hop on their phone, download Tinder, and pray <laughs> to something. God that something happens. Yeah, right? Pray to God they lose focus because right <laughs> now th these guys are focused up. All right? Uh, you know, half the roster already got girlfriends. They just need the other half to come through. They need to, <laughs> you know, everybody needs to be sitting prayers out there. I'd love it if it was Summons and Kenny who had the girlfriends because they're currently 14 and 17. That would just completely confirm your hypothesis. <laughs> right? <laughs> it really would solidify that. But as it stands up the game, just one round away now from taking lap number one here in the North American 2K final. It's looking very, very good for this squad. They really are setting their dominance. But, you know, I feel like Vex, they could maybe try and mount a comeback here and make some magic happen. This is going to be Optics map two. Map number one is Optics map foundation, and so map two is going to be Vex's map pick. So we're going to see what they uh, pull out of here and if they play better than they did on foundation. But that's not saying that this match is over yet. Uh, Vex surely doesn't feel like it's over. And as we see, Shock pushing out, getting the kill there. He doesn't want Lava to get away, but he's going to make sure his team secures the two cap. They're going to be very patient because they know these Optic gaming members is going to be uh, trying to make a break for their home hill. Sure, and they know that the pressure is going to come. It's just about winning that like, wave of engagement. If you can win the first wave, that's when you can really fight, fight for map control. And that's exactly what's happening. You see F, though, under contestion. It's going to be explosive from up to gaming, trying to keep it, but you have to hop on the hill in those situations. You, you can't just fight around the hill when the other team is potentially going for a domination trip cap. you got to at least contest the hill. So Vex full control over that round, you know, as we was talking about it, uh, like I told you, hey, these guys still feel like, you know, they're, they're definitely in it. And Opti Gaming, once again, placing a weapon on the map. What do they want to do? Went straight for Twerk, bro. Uh, they definitely want to put something along the center center of the map. And they're going to put incense there to assist them in capture and capping that neutral hill at the end. Okay. I like that. I like that. Seems like a very Opti Gaming move. They, they you know, so pretty we, good with incense. Yeah, because you know you have lava playing the center of the map, and lava is going for those incense, and he's made he, he makes just great heads up plays. Whether that if he needs to go towards the neutral hill, mm -hmm. or he can start playing for the home hill and playing off the people in spawn, he always has good awareness of what's going on on the map. Vex has actually dedicated three players towards the middle of the map, and lava's just gonna grab the incense and just run. I'm very surprised to, to see Vex just allow Optic to, to really just get control that easily. You would have thought. At least a big contention would have come in. And now Vex find themselves with their back against the wall. Of course, this map point for Optic Gaming. They have D and E under their control. Mentals hitting the headshots once again with a sniper rifle as he peeks, looking for the second. Not going to connect. And here comes the push from Vex. They need to be careful, though, because if they overextend here towards D and die, that opens the door completely for, for the F Hill and Optic Gaming to, to get the domination. It definitely does here. And, you know, one thing is, you know, I'm just oh, taking oh, all the bollocks right there. He said, don't peek. He said, don't re reloading your gun. Look at oh, the second one oh, coming mental. up close. Stop, stop. Mental, he, he, he's having fun here. He's starting to feel himself. And uh, but I, what I was going to say was that I think the game's initial strat is to always give Lava something in the middle of the map. Give them either frags, incense, whatever they can, but they want Lava to have to 
be able to use nades and make plays. Continental not going to connect with that one. Uh, but Optic, they're building themselves a lead. This is, you know, a good time to be an Optic Gaming fan as Lava. Just uh, makes it a little warm on oh. the floor right there. Speedy, he will fall. Lava's going to clean up. Frag out, looking for three. Can he find it? Bouncing left and right. Just put, put pressure. Uh, back over towards that F hill, he wants to win that, throws out the incident instead. That's going to basically trap that player from Vex, he will fall. That's going to be a ball, it's and a shot their go down. And you're going to have three Optic Gaming members push it for their home hill. <laughs> Cam Kerbsy holds these guys off with Snipe. He has about one more Snipe shot before he has to put that away and defend his hill with a shotgun. And actually, Optic backed up. They just played for the two cap. I think they recognized a couple players from Vex coming off spawn. They, they didn't want to pinch that. But for me, as soon as I recognized Pups, he picked up Sniper Rifle. I'm like, hey, just run at this fool. You know, make it a two versus one, really force a trade and uh, put the pressure on F. But, you know, Optic, they're more than happy to say we don't mind if this goes to points. They're so, so good at breaking hills. They make it look so simple. DNE still under their control. More wave of kills go in their favor. Uh, right now, Vex, they need a trip cap, but the problem is it's going to be a bollocks. The only one alive for the squad. He is pinned in over toward the E-Hill. Someone's putting down that Lancer Fry. There's going to be absolutely nothing he could do. And honestly, up to gaming, have played this second half pretty much flawlessly. They really did. And you know, two seconds away from winning, and Optic Gaming will take map number one, Foundation.